Hey y'all, it's me again, Valerie. Welcome back to my yarn room. Yay! Alright, for y'all that seen that video yesterday, that child is crazy. <laughs> um, she blows my mind sometimes with some of the stuff that she says. Um, I did not know that she knew that a multicolor yarn was a variegated. But anyway, before we get started, I would like to invite anybody who has not already to hit that word subscribe. When you do, give the videos a thumbs up, share them if you can, and leave me a comment. Okay. I was not going to sit here and talk today. Um, I was actually going to do a stitch tutorial. Um, but things have been very, very crazy this week in my life. Um, to, to raise a little bit of money to help the channel, you know, mystery boxes, new yarn, all that stuff, and the giveaway. Um, I've been crocheting like crazy, making things and selling them. Um, I have this one woman at my husband's job, and uh, she has done already ordered her entire Christmas to be crocheted by me. And she's paying me to do it. Um... I said something about crocheting slippers and selling them, okay? Um, I wanted to show y'all a pair of the slippers, okay? Sorry for the color. That's the color that was ordered. And I know you're thinking, that's a mighty small hole to be a long slipper. Okay, these are a size 8. Um, and the bottoms of them are, are ridged. Let me show you one. Okay. Yeah, put your foot down in it, and it's yarn. It stretches. And when you get your foot in it, the side opens up. And it boxes the shoe. Now, I cannot give you the pattern for these because it's not my pattern. But I can talk about how they're done. How they're done is... You start just like you do a, a, a beanie and do two rows, you know, because your first row and then your second row, you double it. Okay. Now, if you're any good at doing your math from this, you'll be able to do these slippers. I can't tell you how many, and they're all done in double crochet. I can't tell you how many to start with, because that would be given the pattern. But I can tell you that on your third row, you start the pattern. And you start with putting seven front post double crochets. Then you do three back post double crochets. Then three front posts, seven back posts for the, the sole, three front, three back, and then you're back around to your front again. Okay. When you get it as long as you need it, then... You stop doing the top and just the top. You still do the sides, 
you know, the three and three, and you still do the seven on the bottom in the same pattern that you've been doing, front post and back post. And you take it down. Okay, then you got to decrease because it's got a round here at the back. Then, you tie it off, sew up the back. Then, you just go around, and in every single front post, you put a front post in however many rows you want to get it however tall. Now, if you want it taller, and it goes like up the calf a little bit, you might want to do some increases, you know, to adjust for that. So, that's all I can tell you about these. Okay. Oh, and um, the pattern is in a, a chunky yarn. So, to get the chunky, I hold two strands of number four together to do them. But, that's all I can tell you about those because it's not my pattern. Okay, and you can multiply how many rows around you've got to know how many to start with. Or not multiply, divide, whatever. Do the math. <laughs> All right, um, I also wanted to let y'all know that um, I am trying to venture out of my comfort zone. I don't know how well this is going to go. Um, I have issues being around people. Um, I, I don't know why. I just... I feel anxiety when I get around people that I don't know. So, I'm trying to come out of that. Today, me and uh, my cousin TT will be going to our local library at 6 p.m., and they have a, what they call a fiber arts group. Yeah, it's not a class. It's a group. So that means nobody's leading it. Nobody's teaching it. And you bring whatever project in fiber arts that you're working on. And just sit around, socialize, and work on your project. So, I am extremely nervous about this. Wish me luck. Uh, I'll be praying on it. That I have the courage to actually walk in the room. Um, this channel has helped me a lot with my social anxiety. Um, but I, it's still there. So, uh, I don't, uh, I've heard from the, the woman at the library that some people crochet, some people knit. Maybe I'll learn how to knit. I mean, I know the basics. I know how to cast on. I know how to knit. I know how to purl. And I know how to cast off. I do not know how to decrease. <laughs> um... I guess I can make a long, flat scarf. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, that's why I like Tunisian crochet so much, because it's like knitting, but it's not. <laughs> yeah. I'm used to one thing in my hand, and to have two, I 
get confused. <laughs> All right, so uh, wish me luck on this group. Um, I have no idea what project I'm going to take because, as usual, I have about a hundred projects going at one time. All right. Like I said, I was going to do a tutorial, a stitch tutorial today, but it, it's been really, really crazy. Um, I will plan to have a few stitch tutorials next week. Because I know I have not crocheted on here all week. And that's just not cool. I've said it many, many times. How can you have a YouTube crochet channel if you don't crochet on your channel because <laughs> i mean y'all know there's some of them out there that just never actually crochet on their channel i i don't i don't go, i don't go for that i i want to crochet on mine all right so uh, I just got a notification. Um, <laughs> oh, I will be back here in the next one for another grand adventure right here in Val's Yard Room. And I truly do love each and every single one of y'all to pieces and do something nice for someone. Even if it's just a smile. And don't forget. Last Monday. Or just this past Monday. I put up that special Monday video. Might want to check it out if you have not already. Um... And don't forget, we got that uh, crochet along going on of the uh, the butterfly pictures. Let's see. I know there was more. I would like to invite any of y'all who have not already joined the Facebook group to look me up or look us up. Um, there's, uh, me and two admins on there that are always willing to help. And there's other people on there that, that would be willing to help with anything that you need help with. Or that's a good way to take a picture of what you've been working on or a finished object and post it. On the Facebook group. I love seeing what y'all are doing. I love it. It it inspires me. And, and sometimes it even helps me. And I might even ask, well, that's beautiful. What stitch did you use to do that? I mean, you never know. So. And I, I post on there periodically of things that I've made. Um, all right, I'm, I'm not going to keep y'all any longer. So, um, I guess the only thing left to say is, get your crochet on. I'm gonna wish me luck on the group. <laughs> all right, bye y'all. Didn't hit the button. <laughs>